Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Standing. My name is Beth and today I have for you a random Dollar Tree book haul. So stick around to see what I got. A couple of days ago my daughter and I went to meet my parents for lunch and some shopping in a town that's about an hour and a half away from both of us. Um, and in that town resides the closest Dollar Tree. While there, we found some books. So Elena got Sleeping Beauty and Other Fairy Tales, which includes the story of Sleeping Beauty, The Six Swans, and The Princess and the Pea. Goldilocks and Other Fairy Tales, which has Goldilocks, Beauty and the Beast, and the Ugly Duckling. Cinderella and Other Fairy Tales, which has Cinderella, Princess and the Frog, and Rapunzel. And then one I don't have with me because she left it at her grandparents' house, and that is Snow White and Other Fairy Tales, which includes Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, and something else that I've forgotten. Oh, Hansel and Gretel. So those are the books that she got, and these are just absolutely gorgeous. You can see kind of the sort of illustrations they all have. Ooh, there you go. These were adapted and published by Igloo Books, I believe. Yes. Igloo books. So it doesn't have an author listed where I can find it easily, but those are uh, by Igloo books. Next, I have A. Bartlett Giamatti's Take Time for Paradise, Americans and Their Games by Bloomsbury Press. And this is just like a hundred pages worth of exposition on baseball, which makes me happy. Um, Giamatti was a baseball commissioner, and I'm just really looking forward to reading kind of about the, the game and the traditions with the game and all of that. So that was just a little random find that I got super excited about. Next, I have The Unchangeable Spots of Leopards, a novel by Christopher Jansma. Uh, this is about someone who has wanted to be an author for their entire lives. And he is just trying to find his way in the world and they're going around the world and, and changing it or being changed by it. And he wants to be an author. And I don't know, it sounded really fun and it's a pretty short novel. I can remember hearing about it on BookTube a while back and I'm not sure. I think it was probably um, maybe Jen Campbell or, no, one of them, one of that group was talking about the book. I'm terrible. I'm sorry, guys. I don't remember who talked about it, but I remember they liked it. I think they liked it. Anyway, I got it and I hope I enjoy it. Next, I've got the Freedom Writers Diary, and this is by the Freedom Writers with Aaron Gruel. And if you don't know who the Freedom Writers are, you should definitely check out the movie and kind of the articles and information behind it. Basically, Aaron Gruel was a, an English teacher who got a job at an urban school and had all of these low income uh, kids from, you know, the projects basically. And she bought books for them and they, they started writing in journals and it just, it changed the way they perceive their world and their ability to interact within their world and, you know, the world around their world. And it really helped the kids. And she inspires me all the time. The movie is one of my favorite movies. And I've been looking for a copy of this book since I first saw the movie. And I could not find a decent copy of the book. Um, it was always in, like, really used condition and... I, I didn't want that, so I'm super excited. This is the 10th anniversary edition. It's got new journal entries and an afterword, afterword by Aaron Gruel. So I'm very excited. And of course, it's set up in these journal entry, uh, diary entry type deals. And it has pictures of the um, of the Freedom Riders. And it's really exciting for me to have that. I think when I get finished with it, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to start passing it around my school, but either way, I'm so excited to have it. All right, next I have the Bear Bell Weather Revivals, which is a novel by Benjamin Wood. 
And honestly, I don't know much about this other than the fact that it says it is a sophisticated debut novel about the hypnotic influence of love, the beguiling allure of money, and the haunting power of music. It is a masterful, masterful work of psychological suspense and emotional resonance um, and will hold readers spellbound until its breathtaking conclusion. And then the first line of the actual summary says, Bright, bookish Oscar Lowe has escaped the squalid urban neighborhood where he was raised and made a new life for himself amid the colleges and spires of Cambridge, which hooked me. So I did read the entire summary uh, when I picked it up, but yeah, that hooked me to begin with. I'm super excited to find out what is going on. I'm sorry my dog is dancing in the background. All right, next I have one that I almost didn't pick up because I tried a different book by this author at the beginning of January and just could not get into it. And that is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. And on the front it says, Author of Special Topics in Calamity Physics, which is the book I could not get into. However, I have heard from several people on BookTube and Bookstagram and just in life that they love Night Film and could not get into Calamity Physics. So I'm going to try this and see what I have to say and I will let you guys know. Because you know I got it for a dollar at Dollar Tree. If I don't enjoy it, I can always donate it and really not feel bad about having spent a bunch of money on it and then turned around and donated it without reading it or whatever. And then finally, I have Catherine Harbour's Thorn Jack. This is a Night and Nothing novel. Now, I have no idea what the Night and Nothing novels are, and I don't know if you're supposed to be reading them in a certain order or any of that. When I looked in here, I couldn't really find anything um, that told me if I had to, to read them in a certain order or what order this was. However, what I did find is that this is a modern retelling of the ancient Scottish ballad of Tam Lin, which I love and which would have made me pick it up and purchase it no matter whether or not I needed to find other books to read before it. It to be in order. Um, it says this is a beguiling fusion of love, fantasy, and myth, vividly imagined and steep in gothic atmosphere. And then I read the actual summary and was like, of course I'm going to buy this. I don't care if it's a dollar or if it's ten, I'm picking it up. Uh, it's a, diff a little bit of a different size, more square than other hardbacks. I don't know, it just caught my eye immediately and I had to have it and I'm super excited. So I'll let you know about that and all the other books when I complete them. And those are all the books I have in this random Dollar Tree book haul. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, or if there are any specific ones you would like a full-on review for when I get finished. And until next time, guys, read something good, write something better.